I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the overall energy. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. Um, just keep in mind that this is, it's just a general reading, a basic reading. Most of my readings are love readings. But I'm just throwing in a bonus read. I do have several love readings up, so go check that, those out if that's what you're looking for. They're on the home page. <clears throat> They're on the home page of my YouTube channel. So, like I said, this is just a quick bonus read, basic in general. So, Capricorn. The overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles, and it's with a Nine of Cups. Now, this Ace of Pentacles is about new beginnings, brand new beginnings, and it could be on several levels, very positive ones. And it's with the Nine of Cups, two great cards for the overall energy. Nine of Cups can be about a wish coming true or wishes coming true, feeling blessed, feeling satisfied. Nine of Cups is um, a time when you could feel like um, things have turned around for the better. It's a very pleasant card to receive in a reading. It's about happiness and good things to come. So that's the overall energy. Some type of new beginning looks like it's trying to happen for a lot of you Capricorns. And it's going to make you feel like your wishes are starting to come true. And you're going to feel like you've been blessed by the heavens above. And you'll be content and satisfied. Something really great. It could be a, an awesome type of offer coming in. The Ace of Pentacles can be a huge offer that leads to a lot of great new beginnings. And it's going to be like, wow. Your wish has come true. You're going to start to feel that way. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up. Okay, so we got the Page of Pentacles and it's with the Strength card. So the Page of Pentacles. Well, this is the card above the word present. Page of Pentacles can be about boredom in some ways. It can be, it can indicate that. Um, but it's saying to stay strong. You got the strength card here. Um, yeah, the strength card with this one, it's important to meditate and contemplate and spend time alone. It's indicating that you could be getting bored, but shake it off. Because, like I said, you got some great new, new beginnings coming in, and the last thing you want to do is start is to start to feel like you're just um, losing interest in life or in certain things. Spend some time alone, meditate, contemplate, continue to build yourself up, practice self love, unconditional love, stay positive. Be strong. Don't get bored with with things. That's what it's saying. Because the Page of Pentacles can be about boredom, and then you'll start to do things that um, that can be childish. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate youth and maturity. So you might start to do things to shake things up for a little bit of an, of excitement. But it's saying it's saying use your energy wisely. Yeah, use it wisely to work on yourself. Because something good is coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. You see, it's floating in the air right now. But soon it's going to land. It'll land right on the top of your head. But you got to stay focused. Yeah, and concentrate. Med meditate and build yourself up.
so that you'll be prepared. You'll be prepared and ready when it lands in you, and this huge pinnacle lands in your backyard. Yeah, so that's what's coming up. You could be starting to feel that way. But stay strong. <clears throat> yeah. If you start if you start to feel immature or you start to feel like you're going back to your childish ways, don't do it. You don't want to miss that pinnacle because it's coming in. It's big. It's going to make you feel like your wishes and dreams are coming true. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Three of Cups and it's with the Seven of Swords. Okay, so straight off the bat, this is telling me that someone could be trying to come back towards your way. This could be someone, this could be someone that, uh, this could be a family member, could be a friend, or someone that you used to know. There, someone could be coming back, the Three of Cups. It can indicate the return of someone who's been away for a while yeah or you could be running back into someone who's been out of your life for a while or someone who's at a distance and they could be reaching out to you three of cups can be a card of reunions but it's saying this person um might be a little bit on the sneaky sneaky side because the seven of swords the card that's below the word challenge can be a sneaky, devious type of energy. Um, someone who plays mind games, manipulative, they use strategy and tactics. Now, just a side note, because this is a sword in the tarot, this person could be a Gemini, a Libra, or, or an Aquarius. So maybe it's a family member that you know. Maybe somebody that's kind of childish and immature. Yeah, they want to maybe come by and visit you, but it's saying they're going to be really sneaky. They could be just watching you. That's going to be the challenge because they might try to throw you off balance because you're trying to stay focused here and, build, and continue to build yourself up with a strength card. And that's where you, your focus should be, on you trying to stay positive. But someone could be coming in and might shake your world up because they're going to do things that you probably don't appreciate. Someone who's been away for a while. They got some type of manipulative energy here. You see how she's running? She stole your swords out of the backyard. That's the card below the word challenge. Yeah, so that's the challenge. But let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. So we have the Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is actually good. The Six of Wands is about victory, recognition, and success. So this person that, that's making a comeback, they'll recognize that you're you're at a, a higher self there's very little they can do to you that can knock you off your your feet so you'll be victorious with this person they'll recognize that they can't they can't knock you over or they can't shake you anymore maybe they used to but no you're standing on higher grounds now and you should be getting a lot of victory success and recognition from them and a whole lot of people because that's what the six of wands is about yeah you can have a lot of people looking up to you yeah and you don't like the attention because you'll, be, you'll finally, finally be getting the recognition that you deserve. And it's with the Ten of Pentacles. That's the card that's below the word outcome. 
Ten of Pentacles is, whoa, excellent in the tarot. Ten of Pentacles, everyone wants this card in a reading. It can mean happy everything. It can mean a place to call home. It can mean commitment. This is not a love reading, so I'm going to stay away from relationships. But it could mean that, that um, someone wants a relationship with you and it's going to be good. But, like I said, this is not a love reading, but I, I had to throw that in, in there because Ten of Pentacles means everything. But what I'm getting the most here is that it can be about a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles, when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that indicates money, cash, coins, finance, income. Yeah, it's raining money in this picture. You probably can't even tell, but it's the card below the word outcome. That's the Ten of Pentacles. There are actually four people in this picture. And you can't, you can't see them, can you? Nope, but I can. The reason why you can't see them is because they're surrounded by so much money. There's one man here, he's got money up under his arm. There's money falling out of the sky. There's money just floating in front of them. And there's money surrounding them. There are four people in this picture. But I know you can't see them, but they're there. But the money is just pouring in. So this is, this could be for a lot of you Capricorns. Your money is going to just increase in a real big way. It could feel like it's just falling out of the sky. And you don't know where to put it. Yeah, so this is good. You're going to get recognition and success from somewhere. And this sneaky person that's coming in, they won't be able to throw you off track. You're practicing self-love, self-respect. You're meditating, you're contemplating. And you're throwing away those childish behaviors that some of you used to have. Yeah, when you get bored, you're putting your energy towards something more positive. And it's bringing about a lot of great new beginnings for you. Yeah, and your money is going to look good coming up. Really good. You're not going to know where to put it or what to do with it. So that is your reading for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Yeah. Also, don't forget, if you want to love reading, I've got several of them up. So go check out the home page. They're all new. And the next reading is a love reading for Capricorns, which will be in about another four or five days. So Capricorn, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next reading. Like I said, it will be a love reading. So I hope to see you there. Once again, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day and take care.